Hi guys, I'm Love Kenny and welcome back or welcome to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, I'm going to do my twist out video. So right now I'm starting on my hair. I just washed it. I did a shampoo and a conditioner and I'm going to go ahead and start and then come back. So in order to complete this style, I did break my hair up into three sections. I did the back section as one big section and then the top two as two separate sections. So this section that you see when my hair left out is my final section. So my main product was my Shea Moisture. I actually only used two products, which was Shea Moisture and oil. So this whole style was done with Shea Moisture. As you can see, I apply the Shea Moisture all over my hair and then I get my oil, the little bit I have left, and I put it on my scalp. I then start my detangling process. I just use my wide tooth comb and I start at my ends and work my way to the roots. Now I just section my hair. Because the style is a twist out, I do not have to be perfect, so my parts are a little bit crooked sometimes. But this will now start my next rows for my twist. Now I start with my twist. I do have a twist tutorial coming soon, but to just sum it up for this video, you basically break the hair into two pieces and you chase the hair as you continue to go down. At the end of most twists, I do add some more Shea Moisture. It kind of acts as a gel and it also reduces frizzing on the ends for when I take it out. Now I just try to match the sections with the same I did on the other side. As you can see, I did do three rows. So I'm going to come back when I'm on my last twist so I can show you my process one more time. For my last twist, I continue the same process. I grab Shea Moisture and apply it to the roots and the tips and then I also detangle. I then break the section into two parts and then I start my chase method which just follows the two strands of hair and then it follows each other all the way down. I then brush the tips again in order to make sure the product is even and that all pieces of hair will lay flat. Once all my twists are done, I grab my bonnet so I can go to sleep and that will allow my hair time to dry. Hi guys, it is the next day. Now I just grab my oil and I put it in my hands. This is just a random oil I had in the house. Um, I used it for a hot oil treatment a while ago. So I just put it all over my twist. This will help reduce frizzing and I also use more oil as I take out my twist. Now I just put my hair up into a ponytail and just make sure that I don't miss any of my twists when I take it out. I then coat my fingers in the oil that I was using before and then I take out my twist. In order to do that, I unravel the root a little bit and then I just go straight down the middle. Fall in line. I do not play about mine. 
this is now my last twist i just do the same thing as before i untwist at the root and then go straight down the middle now i decided that i wanted my twist out to be bigger so i ended up splitting most of my twists and i'll show the process that i do along that i normally just distress it a little bit but i don't do this along the way because sometimes i just decide to leave it how it is after i take it out as you can see in order to divide it i just go down the middle again or i stretch it out a little bit and then that is how i would separate it after i separated it the first time now i am starting to like the look way more so i'm just distressing my final pieces To give my hair a bigger dramatic look, I just pick the middle, like the root of my hair, and I also pick certain spots of my hair that are in the middle. I finally got my hair to pretty much where I wanted it, so this is just me fluffing it out a little bit more and playing with it again. This is my final product. I absolutely love this style, super quick and easy. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!